Hi everyone. Through this class, we are going to study about Frank Condon principle and the intensity variation of spectral lines. The intensity of spectral lines in electronic spectra of molecules is not same. The intensity variations can be explained using Frank Condon principle. The anharmonic model of diatomic molecule has a potential energy curve represented by the Mohs curve. Here it is the Mohs curve. And we can see that the probability of finding the atom in different vibrational energy levels. Here the vibrational energy levels are marked as V equal to 0 level, V equal to 1 level, V equal to 2 level, V equal to 3 level and V equal to 4 level. And the probability densities of finding this atom in this particular energy level. Here it is modulus of psi square versus internuclear distance. So we can see that this probability gradually increases, reaches maximum at the equilibrium position, then it decreases. So in V equal to zero level, probability of finding atom is maximum at the equilibrium position. But in this V equal to 1 level, probability of finding the atom at equilibrium position is 0. But here we can see that probability is maximum when it reaches this extreme position. And for V equal to 2 also, probability is maximum near the extreme position. So for V equal to 1, V equal to 2, V equal to 3 etc. levels, the probable position steadily approaches the extremities of harmonic oscillator. Here in this figure A, we can see that the upper electronic energy state and lower electronic energy state, they have same equilibrium internuclear distance. And the lower electronic energy level, it is marked as epsilon double dash. And upper electronic energy level, it is marked as epsilon dash. In lower electronic energy state, there are number of vibrational levels. They are marked as V double dash equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And the upper electronic energy level, the different vibrational levels are marked as V dash equal to 0, V dash equal to 1, V dash equal to 2 and so on. Suppose initially the molecule is in V double dash equal to 0 level. According to Frank Condon principle, during an electronic transition, there is no change in internuclear distance. So it takes place vertically. And the probability of Finding the atom at this V double dash equal to 0 is at the equilibrium position. So here starting from this equilibrium position it will reach another equilibrium position at this V dash equal to 0 level. So this transition will be of maximum intensity. So in spectral line we can see that 0 0 transition will be of maximum intensity. However, according to the quantum theory, it says that the probability of finding the oscillating atom is greatest at the equilibrium distance. But small chance of atom being near the extremities of its vibrational motion is also possible. So, the probability of finding the atom near the extremities in this V double dash equal to zero is also possible. Hence, there is some chance of vibration starting from ends of V double dash equal to zero state and finishing in V dash equal to one, two, three states are also possible. So, we can see number of lines starting from 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 0 to 3 also possible. So these lines are marked as 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, but their intensities will be gradually diminishing compared to the 0, 0. Here in this figure B, we can see that upper electronic energy level, its internuclear distance is slightly less than that of the lower electronic energy level. Suppose the molecule is in this V double dash equal to zero level. And during the transition, 
it will reach the upper vibrational energy level at V dash equal to 2 level. And here we can see that during this transition, according to Frank Condon principle, there is no change in internuclear distance. So, this transition, that is 2 0 transition, its intensity will be maximum. So, in spectral line, we can see that this 2 0 spectral line will be of maximum intensity. Then the other transitions, that is from 0 to 3 transition, 0 to 4 transition, their intensities will be gradually decreasing from this 2 0 transition. And the other transitions from 0 to 1 and 0 to 0, their intensity also will be rapidly decreasing order. In figure C, we can see that the upper electronic energy level, the equilibrium internuclear distance is slightly greater than that of the lower electronic energy level. So, initially, if our molecule is in V double dash equal to 0, during the electronic transition, then it will reach this V dash equal to 2 level. Then, just before, here we can see that this 2 0 transition intensity will be maximum. And for the other transition, so that is 1 0 0 0, its intensity will be gradually decreasing. And 3 0 4 0 etc. transition, its intensity will be gradually decreasing compared to this 2 0. In this figure D, we can see that the upper electronic energy level, its equilibrium internuclear distance is much greater than that of the lower electronic energy level. Suppose initially the molecule is in V double dash equal to zero level. Then according to this Frank Condon principle, during this uh, transition, there is no change in internuclear distance. So, it will reach a point which is above the dissociation limit in this higher electronic energy level. So, the molecule will dissociate without any vibration. The atoms formed by this dissociation may take up this extra energy as their kinetic energy. Here, the transitions are not condensed. So, due to this, we get a continuous spectrum. This situation is rather more complex for the emission spectra and for absorption spectra if it starts from a higher vibrational level V double dash equal to 1 or V double dash equal to 2. Here, the transitions can take place from both the ends and the probabilities are same. Hence, each progression will show two maxima. And the, they will coincide only if the equilibrium separations are same in higher and lower electronic energy level. So, using this uh, Frank Condon principle, we can explain the difference in intensities of spectral lines.